Hello and welcome to Curator with a Camera. I'm Anthony Coles, Senior Curator at the National Royal Museum and today we are going to look at an absolute icon, a real icon of the railway story. In fact, the railway stories, Thomas the Tank Engine. Created by the Reverend Wilbur Audrey for his son Christopher, who had measles in the mid-1940s, Thomas and his friends have become icons of family entertainment. And so, right on cue, Thomas introduces himself. He is a six-wheeled tank engine, and according to the Railway Series book, Tank Engine Thomas, he has six small wheels, a short stumpy boiler, a short stumpy funnel, and a short stumpy dome. So Thomas is an 060 side tank engine, decked out in the blue livery of the Northwestern Railway of the island of Sodor. Now we understand that Thomas initially began life with the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway as a Billington E2 class tank locomotive, but the engine has been much rebuilt over the years. In fact, Thomas, in this carbon neutral age, has managed to cut down on emissions. You can see here the chimney has actually been completely covered over. So the engine is amazingly clean. Still got the most ridiculous cheeky grin that anybody could wish or not wish to see. But what makes Thomas go? Well, if we haven't got coal and we haven't got water and we haven't got steam, Thomas here appears to have a 240 volt electrical supply lead and that supply lead goes into the back of the engine. We can't often operate things in our collection but when we've managed to scratch around between the film crew and myself and find £1.50 we will find out exactly what it is that makes Thomas work. So let's have a look inside the cab of Thomas. I'm used to steam locos, I'm used to diesel and electric locomotives, but what have we got in here? Minimum age three years, maximum age eight years, children must be supervised by an adult and seated at all times. Mm. This could be a bit of a challenge, but Thomas is up to date. He has a start button and he has a press button. And what's the most incredible thing of all, Thomas accepts contactless payments. How brilliant is that? So, I'm now climbing into the cab of Thomas. I haven't done this for many, many years. And if I can still just about find him with my knees, it says, press, press the red button. Ah, oh, look at that. What's it, oh my gosh. What's it like to ride Thomas? Well, I'm getting seasick. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, I haven't done this for the best part of 45 or more years, but there we go. We've got to have a bit of selfie there. So you can see from my uh, general demeanor that this is one of the craziest things that I've ever done, doing a live broadcast. And there we are going in a reciprocal manner, a reciprocating motion backwards and forwards as Thomas takes me absolutely nowhere at all in the Great Hall of the National Railway Museum. Thomas's place in the museum. Thomas's place in the collection. Well, strictly speaking, Thomas doesn't belong to us. He belongs to um, the nice people who uh, provide him for a ride for our families and children visitors. But what a place to do it, because there is Thomas with the Stevenson Long Boiler Loco alongside it. And if it be that through an experience of playing and riding Thomas inspires and engages kids in the future to get involved with railway engineering on a grand scale, then I think Thomas and friends will have done their job and done it really well. Thanks for joining Thomas and myself today for Curator with a Camera. If you've enjoyed 
our very special and very useful episode, then why not like, share and subscribe to see what Curator with a Camera we come up with next.